If you're a serious prepper and you're setting your home up to survive a prolonged grid down event, you need to watch this video before installing Tesla Powerwall. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're going to be talking about why the Tesla Powerwall may not be the right battery backup for true preppers that are preparing for uh, surviving through a prolonged grid down event. I'm going to be talking about three key points in this video. The first is the lower power rating. Each Tesla Powerwall 2 has a continuous power rating of 5000 watts. So it's roughly akin to what a 5000 watt portable generator can run. Now many homes that are off the grid or preparing to survive in a grid down environment are in rural areas where in addition to normal house appliances like TVs, uh, refrigerators, freezers, and air conditioners, uh, typically in rural properties you also have independent water and septic system, which means you have a powered well pump to uh, raise fresh water out of the ground and into the house. And then you may also have a powered septic system, which is a, another separate pumping system that evacuates wastewater uh, up and away from the house. And so if your house is set up uh, with an independent water and septic system, you, you need to make sure that your backup power system has a high enough power rating to be able to handle not only your critical needs like food and lights, but also the, the water pumps as well. Uh, some homes also have a sump pump to prevent flooding in the basement, so that also has to be taken into consideration. If you add all those critical needs up, your water pumps, your sump pump, potentially a septic pump, refrigerators, freezers, uh, maybe a window air conditioner. If you add all those things up, oftentimes you're going to exceed the 5,000 watt power rating that a single Tesla Powerwall can handle. That means you're going to have to install multiple batteries where the cost can go up significantly, uh, or you're just going to be without uh, the use of those critical, those critical uh, pumps. So that's one thing to consider. And the second reason is the closed architecture of the system. Uh, the Tesla Powerwall has no field serviceable parts. So if there ever was any kind of a malfunction or something went wrong, there's little or nothing that you can do as the system owner to correct that problem in the field. Uh, on the other hand, we have other off-grid and hybrid inverter systems available that do have field replaceable parts. So if there were something that happened, at least you have the ability to do some basic service right there on site. You know, consider that in a grid down world, the telephone system may not even work. You may not even be able to get a hold of a, a Tesla certified technician. And so there are some other options available, which we'll show in other videos that give you as a system owner a little bit more control and a little bit more redundancy in being able to keep some of these, some of the commonly um, replaced spare parts on hand at your property so that you're not sitting there helpless uh, during a crisis. And then the third reason is the fact that this is a internet connected smart device. Uh, per the terms of the Tesla Powerwall warranty, the battery has to be internet connected in order for the warranty to remain valid. That means that if you're building a truly off the grid uh, property, you may not have reliable access to internet and that may disqualify you from a Tesla Powerwall warranty. Uh, there's also the inherent security risk of having to have your your renewable energy backup system internet connected, you're leaving a potential vulnerability for a hacker, and that's something that you're really going to have to think through and assess, is that the most secure solution for you? So guys, this has been three re reasons why you might not want to use Powerwall for your long-term emergency prepping needs. As always, if you find the information on this channel useful, be sure to click on the like and the subscribe button, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to post in the comments section below. I thank you guys for taking the time to watch. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.